So look, Obergefell, like Roe versus Wade, ignored two centuries of our nation's history. Marriage was always an issue that was left to the states. Uh, we saw states before Obergefell that were moving. Some states were moving to allow gay marriage. Other states were uh, moving to allow uh, civil partnerships. There, there were different standards that the states were adopting. In Obergefell, the court said, no, we know better than you guys do. And now every state must uh, m- must sanction and, and permit gay marriage. Um, I think that decision was clearly wrong when it was decided. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and clearly wrong. That's what Ted Cruz says about gay marriage. And conversely, that's what I say about Ted Cruz. He's clearly wrong about everything. The most hated man in the Senate has rarely, if ever, been on the right side of any issue. The uninitiated are watching and think, oh, yeah, that's really interesting. A senator from Texas who actually has a law degree is saying this. Maybe we should look at this. Let's just be reminded that... Ted Cruz is pandering, not just to the base of the Republican Party, but to the worst kind of bigotry in the Republican Party. And what we know is the Texas GOP has just passed this plank saying that being gay is abnormal. And so if you're part of the Republican Party in Texas, you subscribe to this notion that being gay is abnormal now. Right now, Cruz is playing hard to the base of the most extreme religious fundamentalists. Cruz seeks to rile up and elicit as much hostility as possible from these people. It's disgusting in politics to leverage people against one another, but that's Ted Cruz's MO. His entire political strategy is to divide because division and hostility play well with his own reelection prospects. What is Ted Cruz's fixation with prejudicing against gay Americans. If freedom and privacy were really platforms this jackaloon says he cares about, then why not leave people alone with their private lives? Likewise on marriage. You know, in June of last year, we saw a decision from the Supreme Court that was nothing short of tragic. And the answer is obvious. Ted Cruz's only platform is the health, wealth, and prosperity of Ted Cruz. That's why he dons a sombrero and takes off to Mexico every time Texans actually need him the most. It's why his every interview is designed to paint enemies and promote himself as a righteous warrior. But the Cruz crusade isn't about Christianity. Once again, the deity that Cruz worships is Ted Cruz, or perhaps Ted Cruz's money. He'll gladly take the vote of evangelical Texans and consequently thank them by reducing their wages, raising their taxes, eliminating their rights, and selling their jobs out to overseas. All to the benefit of Ted Cruz's stock portfolio, campaign donors, and lobbyist friends. To a manipulative, soulless, white-collar criminal like Cruz, it's a great exchange. He buys the religious extremes' vote at little to no cost and nets huge gains while they get the shaft. What's sad is that the gay community has been the target all along. If the religious right would take their blinders off, they would see humanity in common with their gay brothers and sisters. But humanity is the thing that Ted Cruz has in common with nobody as he comes up completely void in that commodity. All that's being asked here is a country of equality, a country of freedom, a country of privacy. These are all basic human rights that should be endowed to all people. Anybody that tries to stoke division and hatred out of them is clearly off of their moral rocker. But if you're looking for morality, you sure won't find it amongst Republican politicians. In fact, that's where morality goes to die. The Republican political platform asks you to renounce all morality. Remember a certain Christian book that says money is the root of all evil and money is surely the root of all Republican politics. Folks, that's why we've got to put in the work and organize. Republicans don't blink an eye in stoking rage and pitting Americans against Americans to get their way. And that's an absolute fact. In fact, we've seen clearly enough that they hold nothing back in an all-out quest to seize power by any means necessary. We've got to call all democracy and freedom-loving people to the polls to defend against the moral disease of modern Republican politics. They are actively working to destroy our country, and all of us who know better must act now to preserve an America of decency, equality, and opportunity before it's too late. So, of course, vote. Not just in the generals, but in the primaries as well. Get in touch now with local organizations and make plans to get yourself to the ballot box and bring a friend. With slime like Ted Cruz sitting in elected office, we are absolutely in a state of red alert. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.